Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we show you how to remove and reinstall the windshield washer bottle on this 2005 Nissan Maxima, pretty much the same as any 04 to 08. Uh, these can get damaged in a slight front end collision. Uh, they can also just kind of crack and break from over time because they're not in uh, the most hospitable location in the vehicle. Tools you'll need are flat blade screwdriver, pliers, Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension, and probably a flashlight. Uh, you do have to remove the front bumper cover, but don't, uh, don't let that concern you too much because it is not that difficult. Okay, start with your hood open and remove two clips. One here, use a flat blade screwdriver, pry up on the center. Okay. and pull the clip up and out. Okay, now this is free. Okay, same thing over here on this side. Pry up on the center. Okay, up underneath in front of the wheels are two Phillips screws. You'll want to remove those. And now you kind of pull this out and pull your inner fender out like that. Okay. You can pull this back. You can see the back of your uh, side light. It's okay. a little hard to film, but there's the connection right here. There's a tab on the outside. Pull that tab and disconnect it. Okay, now up inside, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that you want to remove. Okay, and also if you reach your hand a little further up in, you'll feel another one of those bolts. Okay, generally I found the best tool is a socket with an extension and a ratchet. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through removing those two bolts. And obviously, again, I'm doing this on the passenger side. You want to repeat the same procedure on the other side is a series of the pins like um, on top and there are six right across here okay looks like this vehicle has been apart it looks like it only has two of the original ones one's missing there and then it's got kind of a different style over here the other option is you can take this apart up here which has the same thing series of pins uh, you can see on this vehicle it's actually got a bolt here and no pins here and it looks like they may have actually super glued this together. And I'll fast forward here again as I'm pulling the clips out, just like on top, uh, you pry the center out um, and then pull the clip down. On the bottom, they're a little more difficult usually because sand and dirt has gotten in and it makes the clip difficult uh, to get apart. So you'll probably need a screwdriver as well as a pair of needle nose pliers. Okay, once you've got those fasteners off, just pull firmly on each side, out, and firm, okay, grab it by the sides here, pull forward and the whole fascia comes off. Okay, so I've got a catch pan underneath. Um, if your reservoir has been broken, then you may not have this much fluid in it, but You can disconnect your uh, washer motor right here, push down on a tab, and pull out. Okay, and you can then remove this hose here. Which will start the draining process. To quicken the draining process, pull your motor out. And to further speed draining, if you need to, uh, take your cap off, and that allows it to drain quicker. 
Okay, okay grab the top of your top washer of your fill, fill firmly and, and twist counterclockwise and then pull it up and, and out. Right up and out. Okay, any kind of pliers, just pinch these little tabs. Okay, and separate the harness from the ball. There's also another harness plug right under here, which is your uh, low fluid. Press in a tab. Pull down a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet extension. In there. Okay, the other bolt is way back in there. Okay, I've got a long extension and a flexible joint. You can get it with just regular tools. It's just a little harder to get to. Obviously, it's a lot easier if you have the long extension in the joint. Get it on the bolt here. And I'm going to fast forward as I remove that bolt the rest of the way and then remove the bolt that's further towards the front and then there's one more bolt still holding it. Okay, and then the last bolt is right here. And I'm just going to speed it up here. So I start my first two bolts that are easy to get to. Um, then I use my long extension and my uh, flexible joint and get that third bolt in. Uh, then tighten them all up nice and firm. They should be tight, but you don't have to. They don't have to be cranked real tight. You don't want to over tighten them and break the new bottle. Your tube back in, put these clips back on, okay, reconnect our sensor. Okay, make sure the motor is going into the grommet. Spider there. And then push the motor in firmly. Take your fill tube, it puts it down in, it actually goes kind of like that with this part facing forward, it goes down in, push it down, and then turn it clockwise, lock it in place. Okay, you might be able to see this little orange funnel there I'm using. I did clean that catch pan very thoroughly beforehand, so I'm confident that the fluid going there is nice and clean. Uh, I basically pour it all in, except for the last little bit, because usually if there is anything big, it settles down to the bottom. Okay, you put the fascia on and then you put your two uh, pins in the top and just a note here you can see that the grill is not there I did do another video for replacing the grill um, so you don't need to remove the grill don't feel you need to do that it's just how I shot this basically um, and so if you take your fascia off you can put it right back on intact and everything Over. 
over. Okay, I'm just going to speed it up as I put those clips in the bottom of that panel. Load the uh, bolts in here, and then what you can do is kind of pull out on your fender. You can put the bolt up through first, and push it in, and start it into the fender. Once you have that one started, then start this one. Same thing, you kind of look it up through, get it in, start it in the fender. Okay. Fire up in. If it starts getting tight, kind of push in on your fender a little bit, make it nice and flush. Okay, here I'm just reaching in, uh, grabbing the harness for that cornering light and plugging it back in. Okay, now just push your fender back up and in. And now reinstall the two Phillips screws underneath. Uh, obviously, um, repeat the procedures for the other side and you should be all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.